couldn't come. He has a studio at Cork. So, um, don't know if you guys went to that. It's open today and yesterday. So Keith writes, I want to thank the Art Center for inviting me to review the artwork in the Patterns exhibit. It was wonderful to see such a broad range of talent and media from a number of local artists. It was a pleasure to take the time to carefully study each piece. The criteria I look for in evaluating visual art includes the development of a concept, a basic understanding of design, craftsmanship, creativity, style, and does the work engage the viewer? These are guidelines I have used in my 20 plus years as a professional artist and graphic designer who has produced public art and had the privilege to mentor artists from various backgrounds. So selecting which ones should earn special <coughs> recognition wasn't a simple task or even taken lightly. This is a great exhibition and I'm sure viewers will enjoy the experience. There were certain pieces that kept speaking to me and some that spoke the loudest aesthetically and offered something a little different. Congratulations to all the artists. Um, there were over 100 images that were submitted, about 70 that were chosen. So um, quite a few had to be eliminated and there were also some artists that were not accepted. But we have 31 artists in the show. So, and if you've been looking, it's, it is outstanding. We start with honorable mention which goes to William Garcia. Thank you. He's thinking about tomorrow, which is on this wall as you turn in and go. It's um, right in the, towards the bottom. It's called music, nope, that's it's called thinking about tomorrow. My interpretation of this work sees the artist's montage of several thoughts going on at once memories and visions of what the future could be. The individual images are not clear and it helps link the figure silhouette in the center. The dark palette makes it feel ominous and somewhat hopeful going forward. So congratulations, Thank William, you. an honorable mention. Uh, William. Okay, third place, Leslie. Oh, Come on up, Leslie. Hey, Leslie. Yeah, girl. <laughs> there you go. From Keith, no less. Yeah. So, <laughs> it is people. music for your eyes. It's actually on the black, back. black canopy around the back. So, music for your eyes. Collage is not easy. And this work showed the time and thought in making each part work together. The image offers the viewer numerous ways of approaching the composition. I did look at this from several angles, and the overall pattern for me was in the aerial view of land and buildings. The black lines and muted tones help separate the image into a foreground, middle, and background with the depth which prevents it from being a flat, one-dimensional space. Congratulations, Leslie. Oh. <laughs> Good job. And second, Michelle, come on up. <laughs> so, Michelle is the glass work that you see, the blown glass work. And she got second place for Do You Want to Zoom? And it's the three that are hanging from the ceiling right there. This is an intriguing gem, close up, and close up that felt like I was looking at a cluster of beautiful bubbles blown through a wand. The light created values in each shape and it sparked childhood memories of playing with my friends. The composition provides an eye-pleasing rhythm of shapes that takes the viewer in either a clockwise or counterclockwise journey through clear cylinder journals. Okay, and first place, Mary Atwood. Okay, Mary, this is for absence. 
which is on the black panels down below. The image offered something to everyone, to anyone who appreciates contemporary or modern art. The optical illusion in the white space and black lines created a landscape in my mind that took me through several paths and led, and led me to the chair in the corner. It definitely stood out as a work that could be presented large scale on an interior wall or in the full exterior of a building. So congratulations to everybody. Everybody gets to the show. We have these handouts. Um, lit, all the artists are listed and these um, descriptions that I just read are on here as well. So it's nice to have these if you're a participating artist. I do want to say that we also have an opening at the library that was just hung this past um, Wednesday or Thursday. It's called Winter in the South. A lot of, um, it was a jury call as well. A lot of Art Center members are in there. A lot of JAG members are in there. So that is up and you can view it. It's on the first floor. The reception will be during Art Walk in um, coming up in December. And also the Art Center will have extended our hours December 19 for shopping for your holidays. So please come back and visit us. And enjoy, there's plenty more food. Enjoy the company and um, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.